welcome back. I often get asked how to round numbers in Python, so I put together this video which shows three different methods of rounding numbers. Okay, so I'm doing three methods, so I will just comment these methods. So part one will be the round method. Uh, part two will be the placeholder method. And then part three, we will use um, a divide method. Okay, so if I create a, a number, uh, a variable, and put the number in there, so let's say 12 with lots of decimal places. The first one being the round method, which is straightforward. If I simply do print and then round, open brackets, what do I want to round? I want to round the variable number. And then how, ma how many decimal places? Let's say I want to round by four. If I run this now, Okay, 12.9877. Now we can see that this six has rounded up to a seven. The last method will stop that from happening. And for now, let's have a look at part two, the dot format method. So if I copy this from there, the dot format method. If I do print and then create the placeholder and then dot how many decimal places? Okay, I'll do two decimal places this time. And F, close that. I then need to say what do I want to put in this placeholder. I want to put the value of num. So this creates the placeholder and formats the place to two decimal places. And this says what I want to put in there. If I just comment these two out and then run this, We can see that that's formatted to two decimal places. And again, it's rounded up from the eight to nine. Okay, part three, uh, using the same uh, variable. I just comment this one out. And this time, if I do uh, print and then the integer of num divided by 0.01, if I just print this for now so we can see what's happen happening, we've got 1,298. If I change the value of this, then that will change, um, obviously, the value of what's printed, but we can use that in the next section. So if I do 0 0.01, if I then divide this by 100, um, we can then have two decimal places, 12.98, so this last digit has not been rounded up or down. Okay, so you can see that this method is a great method to use if you don't want the value rounding up or rounding down, you simply want to return a value to a specified number of decimal places. You can also do this using the mass library, but that's for another video. I hope you found this video useful. Please visit the website for more help and information, and please like and subscribe.